Right, hope you can see me alright. It's a lovely day today. Um, apologies, this is um, my first video since the spring because um, I've not been hunting, I've not been online at all, I've just been um, busy doing all sorts of things. So uh, yeah, that's been a long gap, sorry about that. But um, the next video you're about to watch, Farben Fields, is uh, from the spring. It's not the spring at the moment. It's this time of year now. Apples, Farben Field, mushrooms, shally site, hunt place. Where I did the video. Yeah, so we're talking the autumn now. I'm going to do the roundup a bit later for this video. I've already started hunting Farben Fields again. That's been a disaster so far, but hey, there you go. That's uh, been roughed up, but it's not been seeded yet, so we'll see what it brings yet. But yeah, I'm also hunting a horse paddock where I might go later on. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, yeah, start making some videos again. So uh, I'll do the roundup a little bit later, probably tonight. Go hunting this afternoon and um, start putting videos out. Right, right back down Farben Fields, it's just been ploughed and rolled, well partially rolled, the old cart. So I chipped off work early today, it's three o'clock now, but give me a couple of hours to go over a little bit of it, yeah that won't be long before they've seeded it, so as much done as I can. Yep, Farben Fields open for business, woohoo, can't be bad. Let's get cracking. Right, I'll show you what I find. First decent find anyway. Well, I just clocked them from a little way across the field. Well, there. Um, I'm going to chuck them in the ditch or side of the ditch there. Get them off. Hazard. Look at chunks. A bit of concrete has snapped in half and they hit it with a plough. So, yeah, get that off. No, I ain't found nothing much. Just rubbish. Lots of rubbish. We'll carry on. Go out another hour. No idea what that is. Probably some sort of button, I'd imagine. So we've got a lot of dip in one side. Nothing on the back. Check it out later. Don't think it's much though. Right. It's been a bit rubbish really, but Give it another half an hour. Do one. Oh, just found the first pistol ball of this this plow. Yeah, little one. Nice round one. That's perfect, that is. Right, hopefully there's something better than that. Well, we're done for today. Uh, not a great session. Only two hours though. Um, not a great session, first one on the ploughed field, but I mean, you can't complain, it's been ploughed. Got to get some time on it now before they seed it. This is all I've got, a load of rubbish, um, bits of brass and shotgun cartridges, wire, copper wire, alley trim, like a 2P, hot rocks, uh, bits of Brass, a little scrap pile, so quite bad. Just a few smaller finds. Um, pistol ball, shard of something to be checked out. Little pewter button, back gone, I think. Um, little pin. Uh, that looks like a winder off a foil lamp, that does. A little handle bit. Not sure what that is, it's got the little disc thing. A uh, piece of broken coin, I believe, could be a button, but looks very much like a coin, fra fractured or fragment of coin. My little four hole buttons, so not great. Well, we'll be back soon, next day or two maybe. So we'll get all the work cleared off. <laughs> right, catch you later. That's a hobby, isn't it? I mean, if you find stuff that's good, excellent. Just keep it interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, keep it interesting. 
Right, we're back down the field. Well, I'll say we. I'm back out with my mate Steve today. Wave, Steve. Give him a wave. Come on, put that spade down. Peace, brother. <laughs> He's tried out his sea scoop. I just found a couple of little bits and pieces. Near about a few minutes. Yeah, he's got a little sea scoop he's trying out. Found a bit of a tap. A decorated flower thing. Yeah, tiny bit of copper. He's just dug. Right. See if we find anything decent. Right, just found this. A load of rubbish, really, but it's a copper half penny towards the third. Just make him out there. Yeah, haven't really found a lot, but um, we're trying. And we Sparky. <laughs> He's hit a big one day. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Field is now being flattened out. Can't be bad. I'll be back down here later, and I'll um, wait till he's finished. Don't want to interrupt him. Yeah, a lot easier now. Right, it's about three hours later, I'm back down here now, they've done it now. Um, as it turns out, they haven't just flattened it, they've seeded it now as well, so that didn't last long. Um, I think they ploughed it last Sunday or Monday, and it's now the following Saturday, so less than a week it was ploughed and seeded. They don't mess about nowadays, which ain't good for me, because it's my only permission. <laughs> right, so I'm going to hit it for a couple of hours today. Got about two hours of light left. And then I'm going to, well, get on here while I can in between work. Might have to come on here at night with a headlight. Get as much done as I can before it starts shooting. As soon as it starts shooting, I'm off. Um, anyway, I was on here the other day with my mate Steve. Um, and the camera... I'd left it here a couple of days before in the verge in this case I came back and put the um, charger into it I wouldn't have none of it I made a few clips but then it started getting really hot and then shut itself down so I let it cool down that was all right but it's working now anyway so I'll bring you in on the first find we didn't find a lot of the other day anyway just a few bits of rubbish I found a couple of bits and pieces I'll put quick picture up but Steve did all right he was getting the right stuff but he just didn't find anything interesting Little tiny bits of alley and brass and that but yeah, his, his detector was here in it right on the first target or first decent one I'm going to show you anyway <laughs> just found that unidentified lump of pewter or something um, finds are very slim at the minute a lot of small stuff, which is good because we're after the hammies, but I don't see be any of them. A little tiny furniture nail, uh, detonator out of a shotgun shell, annoying things they are. Little rivet, roof thing, shard of brass, that's about it. I found a penny, modern penny, at first, but I just chucked it in the junk bag. Big old bit of concrete around there, I'll shift that to the edge my good deed for the day. Right. Yeah, that must have got dragged out from when they ploughed it, I reckon. We go stone in concrete. Get that right in there. Lovely. Don't know if you'll see them in the distance. Look, there's a big one just went past. There's two more groups there, and there's another group there. There's another group behind me. Uh, cormorants have been flying over me all the time. There's a load coming over there. I don't know if you'll see them. But yeah, loads of them. So they're saying gale force winds tomorrow and rain, but we'll see. And there's a lot of them coming off the sea. Right, carry on. Just found that. Don't know what it is. Some little hooky tool that looks like a pickaxe handle, a mini one with only one side. I don't know, some sort of little hoe thing. Could be proper old, that could. Keep hold of that. Right. Let's get on it. I don't think you'll 
I don't think you'll see it on here, but um, if you look through the hedge there, there's a muntjac deer right at the black back there. It's so dark, it looks almost black. I don't think you'll see it. It's just in between these two, right where my fingertip is. Now, <laughs> really dark. Uh, still pretty quiet. We'll carry on though. Right, that's how good it is today. I'm filming four hole buttons. Now, that's just to show how small things that picks up. You can pick up a little tiny thin four hole button like that. Uh, you get hammy. Well, that's done. So. Right, it's getting dark. Don't look on here, but the sun's down. It'll start getting dark very soon. Lights fading. Yeah, I'll do a little, little bit. I'll stay till it's dark. Didn't bring my headlamp, so I'll have to go then. Right, carry on then. Alright, just got this, a little pistol ball. Little one. Uh, probably the best thing I've heard all day. Sounded really nice. <laughs> close, close to the top. Right. Amazing how light it looks on here, and it is getting quite dull now. <laughs> well that wasn't a good hunt, um, didn't find a lot, so we're going home and we're going to have chicken stew what should be virtually cooked now, lovely, see you on the next hunt. Well it's blowing a gale out here today, it's a couple of days later than my last clip, so we did get a lot of rain yesterday, torrential, with high winds, it's still quite windy now. I would say it's gale force now, but it's really gusting, as you can see. Well, I'm going to go down there again. I presume it's going to be muddy, so I'm taking my knee pad. Which is, um, been using for about a year now, no signs of wear. Well, getting on for a year. So that's doing well. Um, I just got to gear up and get down there. Well, uh, Probably show you clips, but just put my thumb up because you won't be able to hear me, and I'll be very short. Just show you what I find because this wind is absolutely unbelievable. Well, for filming, <laughs> right on the first find. Right, this is the first find that isn't aluminium tin can. I've dug loads of that. I'm hunting by the road. It's more sheltered, so I can do some footage. Yeah, just a brass ring. You know, mangled up and bent, but it's a brass ring. Banging that was. Right, carry on. Right, just after that big brass ring, I've had this turn up, it's still in situ. I don't know what it is, that looks like a big old coin. It's bigger than a penny, I should imagine. It's not a cartwheel though, because I didn't, well, I didn't find a cartwheel, but I, oh, it might be actually. I think that is. That's my first cartwheel penny I've ever found. That'll be George the Third then. So there somewhere. Yeah, I believe so. Check it out later in case I'm wrong, but I think that's my first cartwheel penny. Not as thick as I thought though, just like a normal penny. I'll have a good look out later and let you know. Woohoo! I wonder. <laughs> filled again I was um, of course in a cartwheel penny that's a Mexican coin 1976 it's the right size but I knew it weren't thick enough yeah Mexican Cinco Pescos oh I don't know I'll show you a picture oh well it's a good find something different Found this, um, that's a general service button. It's got the lion on the left and the unicorn on the right, crown in the middle. Uh, not an unusual find, but at least we're finding stuff today after the last couple of dire hunts. But maybe the rain's brought it back to life. I don't know, it was getting a bit dry. Still rather dry on top and cloddy, but hey, we're finding stuff. Right, onward. Right, this looks to be a half penny. I don't think it's a button. Uh, 
looks to be pretty much detailless as well so I'll give it a clean see if I can identify it later but very thin very old hmm see what that is later right we've got something in the sidewall there what do you reckon it's awfully like a buckle let's have that out yep big old horse harness buckle Oops, if I can hold the thing. It's quite an old one, I reckon. Go, bit of horse brass. Right, keep on trucking. Sorry about the wind if it comes along again. Uh, you ready to play the old coin or button game? What do you reckon? Button or farthing? Just reveal it. Button. Oh well, nearly a far. Same size. <laughs> Found a little copper ring. Um, so, just found this, a little copper ring. Pretty sure that is a ring and not just a bit of plumbing fitting. There's a join in it there. Uh, well, it's just too small to be plumbing for them. An old plated kids ring this back down the copper. Right, carry on. The wind's a bit off and on at the minute, so I'm sorry about the noise if there is any. Uh, a bit of foil there. Check down the hedge. And a surface fine derlet, and that does look like a penny. Come on, be a beer coin, come on. Yep. That's an old penny. A bit, a bit crusty, but we'll clean it up later. Mm. Right, we'll do about another half an hour. Right, we're done for today. <coughs> Oops. Busy, day, busy time of the day. Right, not a great deal, but at least we made some finds. A few buttons. A couple of little brass nails, big brass ring and a little copper ring, which I reckon was once a ring, but you never know, probably work. Uh, horse buckle, three coins, Mexican one, a penny, and I believe some old half penny. Got a bit of clay pot, which has got one D written on it, which means one penny. And a bit of lead with one C written on it. I don't know what that means. Um, bag full of junk. Right, go on, um, it's tea time. Catch you on the next one. Sorry about the wind, it's the following day now. It's about 9am. It's a lovely day, but it's really cold. Um, didn't walk far, I can't quite go there, walk across the road. I'll set up camp here. Yeah, I'll never go there only for a couple of hours because. Uh, Talking about a lot of rain again tomorrow. I mean, with all the rain and the sun, this will be up in no time. So, boring. I'll go home and do some work. You might remember on the last little bit of video, I made, I, um, made a tiny ring find. That was a ring, I think. Um, it's too irregular to be anything on the plumbing. I just made another one. Is it going to be a ring? That's certainly looking a bit strange. Got a line straight around the middle. And it's hollow. Well, I can't really clean it here, but it seems to be bronze or maybe brass, but it looks bronze. It's very old. It looks like a ring to me. I'll check that out later. Good find. It's the first thing I've found worth keeping anyway. Right, keep on trucking. Cure, that was a bit of a hard stopper.
in a tin can, I suppose. <laughs> Still crap. Right. Just made an odd little find there. Now, I thought it was a cog at first. You find loads of them, don't you? But um, the edges are dead smooth. And it's kind of like the cross members are going inwards a little bit, like a little bit concave. So it looks like it's a steering wheel off a little model or something. A little tiny steering wheel, I should imagine. Can't be sure on that, but that's what it looks like. What shape is it and everything? Strange. Well, I'm going to have a break in a minute. Well, I just turned away from the wind or tried to shelter it a bit. Uh, just got this. It's a tobacco jar lid. Got the handle off the top of a tobacco jar. Not bad. Something. Computer, I think. Hmm. At last, I found a coin. Uh, it's got a little bit of detail left on it. I made it out all right. It's a Victoria half penny. All right. <laughs> Only about half an hour before I go, I reckon. In Fifteen minutes. That was lucky. Right. Right. That's me done. Uh, did about two and a half hours in the end. Rubbish. Loads of chunks of iron. A couple of big hot rocks. Um, loads of foil. Bits of tin can, face tube top, um, that thing, which I think is a ignition barrel, looking at it. Um, alley, 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 loads of alley, wire, uh, then we've got lead, and bits of brass for the scrap man, well for the scrap pile rather. I'll take the steel home for the scrap man, little scrap man like that, chuck in the bucket for him. Um, and just keepers, barely. Best, well, best one is if that is a ring, that'll be the best one. Looks a bit like an old ring, but who can tell? Put a picture up of it, someone might know. A uh, blob of melted bronze, steering wheel, tobacco tin lid. Not too bad. Uh, Four hole buttons and another button, Victoria Penny, 1885. Uh, although these are annoying, if you're digging them little thin four hole buttons up, you won't really miss a happy. Right, go home. Myself a sarny. Well, I'll keep this short, it's really windy today. Oh, and a gale. Well, I just found that. I think it's, um, I don't think it's a fishing weight, I think it's just some sort of spindle wall. Spindle wall. Yeah. Down here about an hour and we found a lot, a few bits and pieces, that's probably the best find so far. Right, keep going. I believe that must be a tiny watch winder, sorry about the wind. Tiny little thing. Not as good as the gold one I found. <laughs> them in John's back garden meadow. That's the title called Watch Winder. Anyway, it's not a bad one. Right, just a few swings after that watch winder I found this. Don't know what it is. It's got like a loop on the top. See that? Loop on the top. It's made of brass. You do have a lump there. Um, no idea. Not a pen knife. Nothing on it, so I can't tell you. Yeah. Tiny loop that hangs off. No idea. Right, keep on trucking. Right, it's been pretty poor today. I'm in a calmer bit of the field, thankfully, because I just made a find. Um, I've been digging loads of alley with bits of aluminium, and um, I thought this was another bit, it was a little bit deeper. I couldn't hear it brilliantly. And I dug it out and it was clear as anything. And I'm hoping that's a good find. It's looking a bit like a ring. I'm telling you, I think that's a silver ring. 
could be old as well. I'm not going to clean it now, I'm just going to leave it till I get them. Don't know if that will bend back, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a silver ring. Bonkers. About time I found something decent. <laughs> Right, only got to do about another half an hour, maybe an hour now, I found this, but I'll be on by dinner time, so... Excellent. Woohoo! Right, I think I found a little spot here. looking rather toasted so I won't be able to tell you what that is anyway. Might be out of idea for good clean but it's a coin. Alright, onward. Yeah, not too far away, another coin. Well, I believe it's a coin. I can't see any shank shank mark or anything. But that's wafer thin. So it might be like one of them old gems or something, but I don't think I'm gonna get anything off them. I'll have a go later, but pretty toasted. Well, I'm now, I'm just going to walk across the field, back to my bike and I'm going, so I'll show you what I found. If I find anything else decent, I'll let you know. But yeah, we've got um, spindle wool, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, I don't think it's a net weight. That funny little brass thing with the loop on, the ring, so, I don't know, don't know what it is, I don't think it's a buckle. Um, handle. Mullered up thimble, a uh, little adjuster, or something, and a foot. I found the other one as well, I've got it at home, so I found both those feet now, I don't know what they went to. <laughs> Weird. Little lead foot. Uh, like I said, I found the other one at home, it's got it at home. A uh, couple of toasted coins. Four buttons, a screw, and a little watch winder. It's not bad, really. Considering all the aluminium and rubbish I dug at the start, I didn't think I was going to find that much. Right, back to the top of the field and we're off. Catch you on the next one, if I don't find anything. Right, we're back again. Um, last couple of days I've had a lot of rain, so I've returned today. I'm shouting you from the wind. It's quite windy still. It's quite cold even though it's sunny. Um, I say windy. Feels really messy. But hey, I've got to get some more in while I can. So, yeah. Bit damp. So I might not show you too much, but I'll show you what I can. Sorry about the wind, I've moved down to the bottom of the field now, try to escape some of it. It's a bit less, but not much. Um, just found out, I don't know what it is. Modern, sort of like, plug thing. Quite neat looking, but not old. Chrome plated brass. A bit more brass for the pile. But, no, I don't want to I bung it in my little bits tin, because uh, that could come in handy for something at some point. Right, see when I find something a bit better than that. Well, I just stopped for a quick break down the bottom of the field. It's lovely here, it's hardly any wind here, but um, believe me, it's quite windy out there. So I might have a little go along the bottom here. It's too muddy right near the edge, but I'll just have a little go along the bottom and keep out the wind for a little while. I'm freezing out there. <laughs> oh, that's lucky, I was struggling to get my camera going. Um, yeah, it's now started raining. I'm going to walk straight up to the top of the field to my bike and go, I reckon. Because, um, yeah, it's getting really dull and we've had a couple of showers. A couple of hours here, that's all I found. Slim pickings today. Just some little uh, pulley wheel thing. Lead bag seal. I don't know if there's anything on it or not, I'll check out later. Four, four buttons. A little brass bit, oh, that's off. Um, the plug thing, 
and this a little lead spike. I've seen people find these on other other YouTubers find them, and they say, "Oh, I found a little Roman pencil." Well, I don't know how you could really say that. It does look really old and white, but I'm not going to claim it's a Roman pencil and clickbait it. Anyway, here come the rain. So if I find anything outstanding on the way back to the bike, I'll let you know. Otherwise, that's it for today. Well, I'm back down here for another short session today. We've had a couple of days of just really he heavy rain and high winds. Uh, so I'm just going to do a couple of hours today. I've done about half an hour and I didn't find nothing really. Just found this. Um, hang on. Look oh, out my back. I don't know if that might have been a pot leg or something. Cast iron. Didn't know. I just found a surface find, that's what I was going to do. Sorry about the wind. I don't know what it is, it's looking like a pot leg. Look at that for a fancy one. them by that design but pretty little thing not bad Just keep going if there's more or well, not buttons better stuff I right, don't have a clue about this one it's too heavy to be aluminium so I suppose it's um don't know, I don't know what kind of metal that'd be Broken off or something, some little tip to something, perhaps a leg or something. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I um, thought it was a button at first, but uh, it's kind of like a little ball, a solid, whatever it is. It's made of solid brass or something. It's got a little chain. don't know what that would be. Carry on. Now that's a big lump of concrete. Look at that. I'll uh, get that out. I'll just walk out to the edge now. Chuck it in the hedge. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you need a wash. Alright, it's a bit slim again. Woohoo! Farben Fields lives up to its name. Just found this. It's um. You can't see it in this light, I know. It's an Edward the Seventh, 1905 Farthen. So I've never found one of them before. So I've won the Farthen collection. Wicked. Alright, let's do a bit longer. Oh, I just found the biggest musket ball ever. I've never seen one that big before. Look at that. That's huge, well look at it on my glove, that's a massive thing, it weighs a ton. Can't see no hole going through it, so... Oh, it's definitely a musket ball, I would say. Clean it up later to make sure, but man, that thing's massive. I don't know if it would be a musket ball, look at that, a bit big. Maybe out of cannons on them. Cannonball, mini cannonball, you never know. Huge. Right, well, that's it, I'm done for today. I'll probably be back in the next couple of days um, if I don't pee it down again. Um, yeah, not good, but a few decent finds, I suppose. I bought a golf ball. Not that I'm into golf balls, but. I bought a golf ball, the big old cannonball, <laughs> three buttons, three little buttons, uh, the thing, a little ball on the end of a chain, oh dear, a little bit of brass, uh, the ornate button, and the Edward the Seventh Arvin, which is worth coming for I reckon, well that and the musket ball, I reckon best finds. Whatever it is. Alright, I'll see you on the next one. It's a bit wet down here today. We've had a lot of rain and high winds over the last few days. So I've been down here, but um, just popped down here while I stopped raining. I was pissing up. I'm raining well this morning.
morning. Um, yeah, I got out while I stopped. The sun's trying to come out now, so let's give it an hour or two until I get rained off. First sort of find worth filming. Well, not really worth filming, but it's just odd. Uh, hypodermic needle. Jet cattle, I should imagine. Once upon a time, it's probably been many years. Right, but you know, when I find anything decent metal wise. Right, not a great deal coming up, but I just found out it's a big lump of brass. Pretty heavy. Stunning holes in the back. Uh, yeah, all right, sound that. Must be a scrap. Onward. Right, I've stopped for a break, it's about <coughs> an hour in now. Uh, just need a little break. That's all I've got. A brass plate, have a bit of mangled up brass tube and stuff off of something, you know. Um, I think that's a je oh, sorry, I think that's a jeans button. Yeah, like a stud. It's got writing on it anyway. Little decorated button there with a little bit of silver gilding on it still. We'll see what that is later. Rove, a bit of bomb shrapnel, and a seems to be bronze or copper blob, just a roundish blob. That's about it for an hour. Mm. We'll carry on in a minute after we've had a little break. Let's see if we can get anything decent. <laughs> Bling. Oh, and at last, I think we've got a coin. Got a chunk of one. Looks like a coin anyway, it's very thin though. Um, um, yeah, I see something around the edge, I think. Oh, I don't know. It's not a button though. I'm pretty sure of that. It sounds a coin, so I ain't been skunked today. Uh, we'll stay there. that. Corn's growing well. Blinking stuff. Right. Another half an hour and I'm off. Show off how to do it. Right, we're done for today. Only done a couple of hours, but oh, can't be bothered with it. Too much scrap. I found a few bits today, but nothing brilliant. A uh, couple of melted blobs of alley. More alley. Bit of brass all bent up, or copper maybe. A little rivet thing, brass rivet, copper rivet. Uh, chunk of blob of something, it's too heavy to be alley, it's not iron, so it's not what that is. A syringe, some bits of lead, and a bit of pottery. That's the scrap, that's all scrap really, but. Yeah, and then we've got the bit of brass plate. Duda, squished up musket ball, whoops. Unknown blob of bronze. Decorated piece, don't know what that is. A little bit of bling. It's got like claw bits in there where it's sort of fastened or something, so I've got a clue about that. I don't know. They're not diamonds. Um, a little button there with something on it. Probably an anchor, looking at that. A uh, little cap off something, possibly a locker, something like that. Watch maybe. A big brass plate, a uh, rove, a little brass clip, shrapnel, odds and sods. Right, I'll be back down here in the next day or two, I reckon, because, <coughs> um, well, I ain't grown yet, it's near though. It's the weekend now, so, well, tomorrow, Saturday, I'll probably dump down here over the weekend at some point. Here we are again, it's now Sunday, um, it's a lovely day today, there's a bit of wind, the sun's shining, the last couple of days been gale force winds and torrential rain, so I haven't been able to get down here, but this will be my last visit today. If you look really closely, you see the corn's now coming up, crop's starting to show, so... 
see what we find today. I'm not expecting a great deal. Uh, he's just done a load of bird scaring, so a good deed for the day. Right, let you know if I find anything decent. Right, after about five minutes, very first target I dug. Pistol ball, well, hey, we're off the mark. Little, little one. Can't be bad. I think this is just a little bag seal. I'm not sure, but it says, I think this is something to open on there, but oh, I've got a of label and glasses on. Got writing on both sides, so something to open. I think it's a bag seal then. Cool, that was a banging signal. It blew my ears out. I don't know what it is, big stainless bit of something. Looks a bit like one of them tarpaulin rings. Not big. Oh, junk. Well, I found plenty of golf balls in my metal detecting time, but I never found one of these. Rotten golf club tip. Look at that. Been there a long while, it's rotten to almost nothing. Golf. Huh? Ooh, we just got another pistol ball. This one's definitely been fired. That was well munged up. Even though I was been eaten up by pigs. <laughs> right, keep on trucking. Well, I was hoping we were going to get a coin on this hunt, and um, I think we might have done it. I don't know, it might be a button yet. I ain't going to be able to tell you what it is anyway. Not here. I've got a well green patina on it. I'd say it looks like a farthing. There's no way it's a modern penny, so... Yep, final hunt, final farthing, maybe, off farthing field. Woo! Clean it up later, show you on the roundup. Wicked. Oh, look at that, people. I can't believe I've done it. Yep, the very last hunt of the year, on here anyway, till the harvest. Pulled up a cut half. Looks like it's pretty worn, but I'll clean it up with a bit of foil later and uh, see if I can identify it. Can't believe it. Woohoo, hammy time! To me, that's looking rather coin like. What do you think? Could be a button. It's got that green colour to it though. Yeah, it's an old half penny. I'm not going to clean it here because I'll just rub that off. Yeah, I'm going to roll for coins today. Good, good. Right, keep going. Looks like another half penny, I should imagine. What's that? Four coins today? Same again. Lucky to get anything off it, but I'll have a look later. Alright, not bad. I'm going to have a break. Due one. Alright, three hours, that'll do. Um, no going home, dinner time nearly. Um, yeah, there's a load of rubbish. Obviously, always get that. I'll put all the lead bits of lead and clay pipe and stuff I pulled up as well, I don't know why. Uh, keep the lead obviously. There's bits of brass in there, roves and stuff. Hot rocks, railway spikes, the golf club. <laughs> Loads of other old tat and all that. It's just brass I think, so... Oop, it's brass I think. Some scrap. And the good stuff, better stuff. Got a blob of bronze, two pistol balls, a um, little rod of brass, broken off something, another bit of broken off something, unknowns, two buttons, two half pennies, a farthing, a seal with pull me to open or something like that, a little bit of buckle, a little rove, and the hammy, cut half. Ooh. 
Save the day, save the hunt, save the video. Can't be bad. I clean when we get them, wrap that in tissue and be gentle with it because they're brittle. Yeah, I might come down here tomorrow, I don't know, if I can skive off work for a couple of hours in the morning I'll come down here. But if not, I'll see you on the roundup. Yeah, short roundup hopefully. <laughs> Oh yeah. Strange noise bird, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, this is definitely my final hunt down here this this seeded season. It's lovely down here against the hedge, just a little bit breezy out in the field, but it should be right for footage today, so. Yeah. Monday morning, a couple of few hours on here before I do any work, I think. Get cracking. First keeper, musket ball or pistol ball. The same size as them other two I found, so mm, doing right for pistol balls on there this time. Yeah. Oh, just found one of these little bottles, second one of these I found this time. Um, little injectable bottles, medicine in there for cattle. Alright, pretty lean today so far. We'll carry on. Right, that's me done for today. Um, done a couple of hours, just over two hours, found nothing. Found a pistol ball, which you see. Um, anything you didn't see was a flat button. Loads of lead, well, a lot of loads, bits of lead. Quite a bit of aluminium, loads of iron. I was digging all the scratchy signals and uh, that all went in the hedge because I was close enough just to chuck it in the hedge so it was handy. Anyway, let's go home, do the roundup. I don't really care because I found a hammer yesterday anyway. <laughs> right, round up time. Right, see you later Farve and Field. I'll see you when you cut. <laughs> right, I'll try and make this round up as short as possible because uh, my memory is nearly full and I think this video is going to be long enough anyway. So I'll give you an overview of what I've found. Look, um, sorts of rubbish. Basically, uh, What a tat, what a nonsense, but it's all good scrap. Roves and screws, random brass bits, lead, pottery, clay pipes, don't know why I pick it up, golf club, golf ball, a bit of old hoe. Old looking bits of iron, bits of buckles and stuff, a bit of plate, uh, probably a bit of horse tack, pistol balls, pot ends, pull to open, IC, could be a spindle whirl, could be a loom weight, don't think it's a fishing weight. Um, that's got two iron bits coming out of it, so that's probably some sort of weight for something. Not really sure, thought it was a big old musket ball or something at first, but no chance. Yeah, buttons, the random buttons everyone finds. Got some better ones on there. But yeah, and the finds. Sorry, so quick, but I really haven't got much memory left, so. Got a pen knife. Steering wheel. That's a handle off a tobacco tin, two taps, broken taps, oh yeah the bangs, it's nearly bonfire night, Guy Fawkes night, so um, there's going to be some bangs going on, sorry about that, yeah, tine, bronze tine or something, people say these are Roman pencils, but I don't know, it's a sharpened up bit of lead and it is very wide, so it could well be, but Hey, if it is, well, we'll find a room of pencil. If not, who knows? Um, bit of bronze in shape. 
the foot. Got the other one somewhere found about three years ago, so yeah. Do you know if this is a bit of brooch or a bit of spoon, but it's rather thick for a spoon. It could be a handle of some sort, but it's got decorations on it and that, so it's broken off at each end, so I don't know whether that's actually a could be a part of a brooch, who knows? Let me know if you do. Little crown for a mouse, king of the mice. Little finial thing. Um, a flower. A bit of jewellery. A little bronze spike. Mashed up thimble. Uh, two watch winders. That's a little tiny brooch of some sort. Not much left of it. Um, a couple of rings. These are us probably plumbing, but who knows? It could be a really old bronze or brass ring. There's a little costume jewellery ring. You can see the join, but it's fell apart, I think. A few buttons, better ones. Uh, there's what they call. I think that's what they call a filigree or filigree or something like that. Like that lattice work one. Put a picture up of it. I'll put a picture up of some of the stuff anyway. I uh, can't remember what it says on that one, but that's quite a good one. Really fine writing on it. Uh, general service button. That's toasted though. Uh, there you go. Bell clanger. So that's what it must be because it's solid. It's on a bit of chain and. Well, it's that shape, isn't it? And a couple of bits of silver, a little shard, probably a bit of pepper pot again, or salt shaker, or whatever they were I found before. And a ring, that's quite chunky, quite heavy, no markings, but it's tested silver, so could be one of them foreign jobs, I reckon. Sort of a bit Indian or something, do not it? And go on the coins. George V Penny. George V half penny, actually got the date of that one, 1931. Uh, George II half penny, just see the bust pointing right. Pretty sure that's what it is. No date. Two modern coins, 2p, all mangled up, and a scrap, and a penny. Uh, Victoria half penny, 1874. And an 1885 one as well. And we've got an Edward, I think it's probably Edward the Seventh. I'm not really sure, but it's 1907, half penny. So it probably is. And then we've got an Edward Farthen, 1905. And we've got a Victoria Farthen, 1868. So yeah, done all right. Farthen Fields, living up to his name. And this one's quite interesting. It's a big old. Oh, sorry about that. The um camera cut off told me I don't have no memory left and I had about eight minutes left. Liar. Anyway, uh, that's where I got up to. That's a Mexican coin, five pesos, 1978. It's a really cool design on the other side, like an eagle and a snake, so I'll clean that up, electrolysis or something, get a picture of that. What a bad find, something different. And of course the best find, which I believe is a Henry III cut half penny. I can't be positive about that but that's what it looked like going by the pictures and that. But not good on the identifying hammers, Colin might be able to tell me different. So yeah not too bad. Pulled it off in the end. Oh, relief. Yeah so I hope you enjoy this video. It's dragged on a bit I know but mine usually do. And um I'm now hunting it again. It's in the state of plough, deep plough, which is hard going, but I like it like that. And uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be um, back down there soon. I've currently got a horse field permission as well, so my next video will probably be from there, a paddock. And then the one after that will be back down Farthing Fields, I reckon, so yeah. They're talking about a lot of snow and cold coming, so we'll see about that. Trike's hiding in the shadows, that's waiting to go anyway. So yeah, thanks for watching. 
I'll see you next time. Bye yeah.